Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Mr. Lan here in our US History Flip Classroom, video number three, coming at you right now. The title is First Settlements, First Settlements. Let's dive in. First things first, grab your whisk. Grab that whisk, bateador, whisk, whisk, whisk. Write down that era, write down that concept topic. Pause me now, do that now quickly. I know you can. Okay, great. You did that. Let's move on. Get your notes ready. Gotcha. You got that Cornell note template with you probably. If you drew it in your journal, always use the right side. Use the right side. If you're using my sheet, you can use that sheet. But let's do it well. Vocab on the left, titles, notes on the right, summary at the bottom. Let's dive in. These are the six words I'm going to be using today. Grab those down. Pause this. Write those on the left-hand side. Remember, no definitions. No definitions. Just vocabulary words. Pause and get those. Awesome. You got your vocab down. Good for you. Let's dive into the story of the first settlements in the New World. Big question. How did the first European settlers people survive in the New World? What challenges did they face? Man, there's a bunch of great stories to tell there. I'm going to focus on two today in this lesson. Let's dive into the first successful story of a settlement. The first successful, notice I said successful, settlement in the New World. Take a look at that map. Take a look at that map. I'm looking at that particular colony. In other words, that state, that shape there. I'm looking at the state of Virginia. So about 100 English settlers were given three ships and permission. They were given permission by a company, a company in England called the Virginia Company, hence the name Virginia, right? And they were given this plan to leave England and go to the New World. And why did they want to, why did the company want the settlers to go to the New World? Because they were going to give them permission to start a colony, a town, a community. And the, what were they hoping that it would happen? That they would make some money. Because remember, back then it was all about those economics. So they were hoping, the company was hoping that the settlers could create a town that would make them profits. So did they? That's the story. Here it is, Jamestown, Virginia. This is the actual uh, fort based on depictions where they built a triangle shaped fort that you can see there. Notice that it's on the edge of the water, right? So this is the year 1607. The English settlers travel up the James River in Virginia. They find a spot that's kind of marshy, kind of swampy, not the best choice, but they end up sticking it out there, built that triangle shaped fort, and that is the first successful settlement in the New World in Virginia, Jamestown, 1607. Now there's lots to tell about the city itself and the community, lots of stories, hardships, nightmare scenarios. It does, it, the city does survive, it's still alive today. It's a historic place that you can actually visit. Now, if you ask me in class, we can talk about the details. It was a complete failure at first. Jamestown was wrecked. I mean, they, they, they were wrecked. There was so much bad going on. There was disease happening everywhere that they weren't prepared for. There was starvation during the harsh winter or the starving time. There was the Powhatan Indian tribe. Excuse me, I, I misspelled it on the slide, but no worries. The, the native tribe that they were having tensions with, right? They even resorted to cannibalism at one point because they were so hungry. They were basically boiling the leather down and eating the leather from their boots because they were so hungry. Not only that the men that were there they had no they, they had no women and it was just men and and so many of the men didn't even know how to do jobs that were manual labor jobs and they were struggling to survive but eventually captain john smith gets the gets that gets the group those groups of settlers in line and he gets them going in the right direction and they become a successful settlement now what do they do they plant uh, they plant a, a cash crop, they plant tobacco, and they plant lots of it, and they become very profitable, be profitable because that tobacco starts making them money. So that saved the community. So there's a couple of famous names that we know here from Jamestown. Recognize anyone there? Yeah, maybe a Pocahontas, maybe a John Smith. Now that Disney movie is bunk. It's garbage. It's got lies, people. Don't believe it. So the real Pocahontas and John Smith, yeah, we can talk about them in class. Ask me and we will dive into the real truth of that story because that Disney is full of lies. All right. So 
The second successful settlement that comes just a few years after Jamestown, we're going to focus on, and this is a biggie. Why is this a biggie? You know the story, too. Every Thanksgiving, we remember the story of the pilgrims, right? Big, big hats, buckles, lots of, lots of fringe, right? So the story of the pilgrims is a famous one. We're going to look at their journey. Now, pilgrim means traveler. That's what that means in this story. A pilgrim means a traveler. Now, we know the Thanksgiving story usually, but what about the pilgrims? Who were they? What were they about? Look at the journey here on the map. Notice on the right-hand side, they're leaving England and they come over to the New World. I'm looking at a different state now, though, a different colony. Look at the top left. You see the shape? That is the state of Massachusetts, and that's where this story takes us. The year is 1620. And about 100 pilgrims or travelers leave England for the New World and end up in Massachusetts. Now, who were they? Why did they leave? What was going on in their home country that they thought, we need to leave here to go to a new place, a totally dangerous, unknown place for us? Let's dive into that. The pilgrims were remembered for their religious strictness. In 1620, they land at Plymouth, Massachusetts. Plymouth is the name of their town. Notice how I spelled it there at the top in blue. It was settled and created in 1620. Now, they were strict religious Christians. Now, why do we focus on this story as a success is because they did go through some hardships just like Jamestown, but they too did survive. Now, another way to, to talk about the pilgrims is to call them separatists. They separated themselves from the Church of England. And that's why they had left England, because they were getting persecuted. They wanted a safe place to worship. They wanted a refuge. Notice that word. A refuge is a safe place. They wanted to have religious freedom, because back home, the king and the head of the church were persecuting them. Violence, attacks, harassments. And this is why they came to the New World, and this is why we remember them. They were successful in their colony. So make sure you get your notes done. That is the end of the video. I appreciate your attention. You did great. Ask me questions. Get one hot question there at the bottom left, and we will talk and learn some more in class. You've been great, everybody. I'll see you on the next flip video. This has been Mr. Land. I'll see you soon.